put down that hair straightener okay hi guys my name is michelle and i create hair makeup and lifestyle content here on youtube today we're talking about curly hair the curly girl method the do's and the don'ts which include a very close look at the ingredients i'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know if you have curly hair so if that sounds like something that interests you then keep watching First off, let me just say that a lot of research went into this video and I would encourage you guys to read, okay? So I've left a lot of links in the description bar. Check that out. But in case you're someone who doesn't like to do a lot of research for yourself, well, that's fine. I've got you covered. Now, in 2001, Lorraine Massey, a hairstylist from New York, came out with the Curly Girl Handbook and this revolutionized curly hair around the globe. In the last few years, it has gained popularity like never before and the curly movement began. So you're in luck ladies, curly hair is in. In her book, Lorraine details of the curly girl method, which is an approach to hair care and styling for girls wanting to embrace their natural texture. We call the curly girl method CGM, right? Which is just short for the curly girl method. And the don'ts of CGM include shampoo, which means if you're following CGM, no normal traditional shampoo for you. No hairstyling tools, put down that hair straightener, okay? No dry combing at all. You are not going to comb your hair when it is dry. No terry cloth towels, it is an absolute no-no. No sulfates no water soluble silicones, no alcohols, no fragrance in your hair products and no hair coloring. Now the first do is co-washing. If you don't know what co-washing is, then there's a video up here. Check that out and come back here. The use of a scalp brush because this promotes hair growth. The use of natural emollients and proteins in your products. The use of humectants like honey, Trunching products into your hair to encourage your curl pattern, using microfiber towels or cotton t-shirts to dry your hair. These are all of the do's. Okay, so now let's understand some of the ingredients that you have to stay away from if you have curly hair. The first one is sulfates. Now, simply put, sulfate meaning detergent, okay? So sulfates are detergents used in your shampoo. It is put into traditional shampoo to clean your hair. This is the ingredient that causes your shampoo to lather up and this is the ingredient that strips your hair of protein and oil causing them to dry out, leaving it frizzy. Alright, so a list of commonly used sulfates in your shampoos would be right here. Please screenshot this ladies. This is very very important information. Okay, a little note. Sodium Laurel Sulfate is the most commonly used detergent that you will find in traditional shampoo. Now, the next one, silicone. So silicones are lubricants that seal and condition your hair. Silicone in your hair conditioner generally causes your hair to shine and make it look all nice and glossy. Now, all of these things condition and shine. These sound like really good things, right? Well. Not exactly, because uh, putting silicone on your hair is essentially like coating your hair in a layer of rubber or plastic. And what it does is it coats your hair follicle and it doesn't allow water or air to pass through it. Additionally, silicones tend to build up on your hair, causing your hair and your curls to feel weighed down and heavy, preventing nutrients from entering your hair, furthermore causing hair damage and breakage. I'm putting down a list of commonly used silicones right here. You will notice that ingredients ending with the letters cone or cane are generally the silicones that we find in traditional shampoos and conditioners. Screenshot this as well. Okay, so sulfate detergent, silicone plastic and parabens are preservatives. Basically, parabens are preservatives that increase the shelf life of your shampoo. Parabens remove the protective cuticle of the hair, making it dry and brittle. So parabens mimic 
estrogen and don't quote me on this okay so some studies may have linked a breast cancer with parabens let's not get into the specifics of, of that okay all you need to know is parabens no okay preservatives we don't want that in our shampoo okay so if you're not going to remember all of this just remember sulfates detergent silicones plastic that coats your hair and parabens preservatives right now please understand that these three ingredients are not doing you any favors if you have curly hair additionally other ingredients like alcohol and fragrance commonly found in traditional shampoo and conditioners are not doing you any favors either the bottom line is curly hair is very dry right so we have to do everything that we can to infuse our hair with moisture and not use ingredients that are going to dry it out make it look frizzy uh, make it prone to breakage we don't want any of that if we are going after healthy bouncy curls now if you're ever wondering about your ingredients and you're in a shop and you want to buy a product right curlsbot.com screenshot this as well right or go to google find the ingredients of the product in question go to girlsbot.com paste your ingredients it will tell you whether your product is cg friendly or not and if it isn't then why another word of caution okay just because your products have the word curly on it doesn't mean it is cg friendly okay i myself have made this mistake where i bought an entire range because it said cruelty free and a curly girl okay so i got so excited and i bought it but no just because your product says curly hair or curly girl or curly whatever doesn't mean it is cg approved do your research please 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 do your research okay so now a very important very exciting let's talk about girl type now curly hair ranges from 2 to 4 basically straight hair is 1 a b and c and your curly starts from 2 so you have 2 a b c 3 a b c and 4 a b c simply put 2s are wavy 3s are curly and 4s are coily so 2a b and c are classified as wavy hair which look like loose s shaped mermaid curls so i have to be hair right 3a b and c are curls or spirals ranging from a looser 3a to a 3c now when i say spirals i mean it's like that so the waves are s shaped right if you have 3 then your hair spirals that way and then last but not least you have 4 a b and c which refers to coily or kinky hair ranging from a looser a which is a 4 a to a tighter 4 c now understanding your hair will help you find methods to nourish it and style it properly what works for a 2 a might not work for a 4 c girls with 2 a b and c can wash their hair once a week and use lighter products so as to not weigh down their waves and girls with 4 a b and c can wash their hair every once in 10 days and they can use heavier products without weighing down their coily hair also please understand that when you start cgm like for me i started as a 2a and now i'm closer to a 2b so just because you start at a particular curl pattern doesn't mean your curl pattern can't change a lot of the times we have straightened our hair to death right so your hair does keep changing you'll notice that your curls become a little tighter the more you're on cgm the more time passes okay frizz A frizz is a very long and hard battle that you're going to fight if you start at CGM. But trust me, it's normal. I've made a video where I've covered frizz in detail, so it'll be up here somewhere. Check that out once you're done with this one. Okay, so the last thing that I want to address in this video is before you start the curly girl method, it is important to strip your hair of the silicone that is built up on your hair, right? Now, I'll be making an in-depth video on clarifying, chelating ingredients, final washes, etc. So, if you're watching this in the future, then check out my beginner to the CGM playlist you'll find it there or if you're watching this now then just wait and you will have that video coming up really soon so yeah uh, that was it that was the video i'm really excited some of you have started your curly hair journey with me if you have please send me your picture
pictures it makes me so happy to see your pictures and to see your progress so yeah if you started your journey happy girl journey you are never gonna look back i promise you all right so yeah that was it that was the video i hope you gained some value from this video if you did consider giving me a thumbs up leaving me a comment asking me a question following me on instagram if you want to see more from me i am curly girl michelle there so yeah that was it that was the video thanks so much guys and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.